Um, well, I'm 63 now, and I started when I was very little because I had a father who was had been to art school but never practiced art as, a, as a, an artist, but he was always a very good drawer, and I think he would have been a very good architect or technical draw, drawing draftsman. Um, but as a child, you know, there wasn't a lot of the material uh, toys and digital things or television, so there was very much the dad on board and my dad would draw me something and my task would be to copy it and I used to enjoy doing that and it just turned me on right from the word go so it was always a go-to thing to do was to get paper and pencil and draw so that was a huge gift that my father probably inadvertently gave me because I've never stopped and I think even my mother was quite surprised that uh, you know even in my senior years she'd, she'd say you know you are you still painting which um, for anybody who knows me is probably not a very sensible question so uh, yeah I think it's surprising what you can expose a child to and it becomes an absolutely pivotal part of who they are um, first started the art business end of things um, was my wife and I put together a number of paintings and we were in Toronto and a friend of ours had a design business in an old carpet factory and so we put out invites through our network and got everybody together on a Sunday for cheese and wine and watercolours and uh, yeah, that was our first foray into it so we did our own organising, own this was pre-internet so we were sending out uh, invites, people turned up, we had a nice party effectively, cocktail party, and I think we paid our costs. So that was the first start, and then we've, we did that a few times, and then as my confidence got up, we went to a few galleries and um, I put stuff on spec with them. And uh, so just sort of nibbled our way along and from our own little adventures. Uh, then I went to an art market one Christmas, um, had a booth, which we paid for obviously, and uh, that was very successful, made a couple of thousand dollars on that. Um, so it's always paid for itself when we put shows on or, or had connections. I'm a geologist as well as an, an artist. And certainly my ability with three-dimensional three dimensional representations, um, graphical representation, makes a big impact on my work. Um, from using maps I've developed in the last 10 to 15 years into a 3D geomodeler with, with computers. A commission for an oil and gas company in town. There's a guy leaving the board. So this is his ranch. So we went and spent a day sitting there having a picnic and I did sketches and so forth. Anyway, I came up with this view across the pond, which I like, because I've always liked the sky reflected in the water. Um, mm. Even if it's a puddle, I always have found that fascinating. 